10 minutes of non-stop news, your no-wait forecast, and lead-off sports. The Heartland's most watched newscast, 10 at 10, starts now. Good evening, I'm Tracy Madden. John Nicely is off tonight. On Friday night, the biggest game in town is football. Players who fight it out on the field can get hurt along the way. So how is this season playing out? Sheila Brummer joins us now live tonight from Nebraska Orthopedic Hospital with more. Sheila? Well, Tracy, every Friday night during football season, this hospital located near the Oakview Mall offers a free clinic. Starting at 9.30, doctors start seeing patients. Behind me, they're seeing a young lady who was injured while playing volleyball. And this clinic's ready just in case a player makes a plain, painful move. And unfortunately, that's not uncommon for a contact sport like football. 17-year-old Ryan Boyer suits up for Friday night. Football's great. Best sport ever. The Gretna Jr. plays wide receiver and cornerback. However, an injury sidelined him early in the season. I stepped wrong and I landed on my foot wrong and I, my knee hyperextended. So it went backwards. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Mike Walsh treated Ryan and says fortunately there haven't been any catastrophic cases of sports injuries this season. The biggest complaints, sprains and strains. We see a ton of those every year no matter what else happens. Uh, we've seen some knee injuries, of course. There have been some anterior cruciate or ACL tears. There have been some other ligament uh, injuries, torn knee cartilages, dislocated shoulders. Dr. Walsh says after more than 30 years treating patients, the biggest change, the players. They are bigger, faster, stronger. You would think that that would lead to, to more injuries over time, but I think some of our preventative techniques, our uh, safety equipment and rules changes and things of that sort have, have kind of kept up with that. Dr. Walsh says to prevent problems, athletes need to be in great shape. They should do conditioning exercises, focusing on strength and flexibility. Unfortunately, despite all those things, injuries are part of the game. That's what Ryan Boyer found out the hard way. But after a month of rehabilitation, he's eager to get back into the game. Hopefully tonight I'll play a little bit. With photographer Jeff Sabin, Sheila Brummer, Channel 6 News. Ryan Boyer did play tonight and his team won. The final score, Gretna 35, Plattsmouth 7. Dave Weber and the Channel 6 Sports Machine will have complete high school football coverage coming up in just a few minutes.